got uh, 284 your fans in Facebook, Father. So today, 26th September is your birthday. This is 85th birthday. Now you are 85 completed, no? So 86. So we want to see you in good health. For next year also, we would like to celebrate this birthday in a, in a bigger way, vigorous way, Father, because we need you in our society. We need your thoughts. So could you say something about uh, about your fans in my Facebook also, Father? This is something I'm not any good at. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, when I get talking about it, uh, I really have b believed that when we were at St. Alphonsus together, it did a great deal of good for poor children. Yes. And now they're doing very well. I'm amazed at how many of my poultry children are w well employed and very few are not employed. And I think the reason is that in the school at that time, they really learned the dignity of work. Uh, and I think it's what you learn as a child. It stays with you all your life. Mm -hmm. So when they went out, they were willing to do any work. Mm -hmm. But because they've been trained in management and all that, mm -hmm. they quickly went up the ladder. But uh, they were willing to start at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Because I, one of the things I used to teach them, of course, I worked with them for that mm -hmm. reason, was that any work that helps the community is a dignified and worthy work. And I think that's very important to get taught in our schools. So many of the schools, the children are there, and nothing is ever said about the people that keep our country going, people that build our roads, our schools, our buildings. And when they have to work themselves, they realize that the, they can help, for instance, their parents mm -hmm. when they were working in the poultry. Mm -hmm. That happened to me as a child. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I was uh, grew up in the Great Depression, and for about 10 years, my father, who had had a job for 34 years with the cable office, uh, Canadian Pacific Cable Office, they were always a, a, a job because all the businesses collapsed, and the cables were run by businesses. So he did every kind of work. I mean, he worked on the roads, he sold in stores, he did every kind of work. Because it wasn't the kind of work you do, it's the kind of workman you are. It's what you are rather than what you do. And that is one of the unfortunate parts in India. People look down on people who do manual work. And that was one of the things that we taught against in St. Francis by having our own poultry and, and piggery and all that. That anything that really helps the country is noble work. Yeah. It's, a, it's really unfortunate that we, we took over the British system of education, which was purely academic and had only one purpose, was to supply the government offices with clerks and second rate managers. And of course, they didn't need anything in the production line. One of the biggest tragedies I feel in Indian education was in 1964, the Kotari report came out. Yes, yes, yes. And at that time, they said the greatest need in all levels of education is to teach production work mm -hmm. so that our people will realize we can only become uh, a modern country if we produce more. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, right now in India, we are two countries, maybe 15% well off, and the vast majority not well off. But at least we're, we're developing a middle class. And it's a middle class that determines what kind of a country it is. Yes. Because they're not the very wealthy and they're not the poor. But they, they are the ones that keep the economy going. So that's the way it was. I was very lucky that uh, I remember I had a big argument with uh, my bishop when I was building the school. Uh, one of the schools in Darjeeling had had a flat roof and they had so much trouble with it, they had to put a pitch roof over it. Mm -hmm. So he was very much against my having any part of the roof flat. So I really had to fight him to get that flat section of the roof. And without that, we wouldn't have had the poultry. And the poultry was very decisive, not only for the work of it, but for the science, the mathematics, 
the management, the older boys in class eight, uh, nine and 10, would be in charge of seven or eight small boys. Mm -hmm. And they learned how to manage their workers. And they were responsible mm -hmm. for all the decisions, uh, much better than they get, what kind of medicine they get, and how much food they get. Yeah. So that was very important. Thanks for the question.